Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So as you can see, my new ready t-shirt in white. You can get these on Canadian Prepper at teespring.com. I'll post a link in the description. They're fashionable. So you don't need a camping checklist anymore. Just get yourself a ready t-shirt. So today we're gonna to be checking out something which is truly revolutionary. First, the Chinese invented paper. Then they invented gunpowder. But then somebody somewhere, probably in China, invented the toilet paper puck and it's truly Canadian because it's now a puck. Now some of you have seen the toilet paper tablets. These little things are compressed towels. What you do is you take one of these little toilet paper tablets, you eat it, and then it does the job for you on the way out. Just kidding, that's not how it works, unfortunately. We probably have to wait another 50, 60 years for something like that to hit the market. Basically how it works is these little compressed towels expand when you expose them to water and they're about three to four times stronger than paper towel, probably 50 times stronger than actual toilet paper. So one of these little tablets, if you're a person who prides yourself on good hygiene, if you're disciplined, if you're focused, if you're mentally prepared for the job that you have to do, it should only take you one tablet to get the job done. Now, however, some of you complained after that first video that got a whopping 3 million views. Some people still complain that, hey, Nate, those things aren't big enough to do the job. I'm going to need at least 10 of those to get the job done because apparently some people have really bad eating habits or just very gluttonous and liberal when it comes to the use of toilet paper. So for those of you who are getting way too much fiber in your diet, I proposed the toilet paper disc, which was slightly bigger, that wasn't enough. Some people simply need more, you insatiable SOBs. So, for that purpose, we have the toilet paper puck. This thing was actually used, it was actually made for the purpose of adult diapers, believe it or not. So this thing is made for number twos. Now here's a roll of toilet paper. Here's a toilet paper puck. Now, if you're not a spoiled millennial whose parents bought them a car on credit at the age of 16, then perhaps you won't feel so entitled to kill an entire tree just to deal with one of your number twos. And perhaps you could make this puck last a lot longer. In fact, I bet with good rationing, you could probably get many, many number twos out of this. What's great about these is the form factor. If you're going camping for a week long trip, you pack six or seven of these and you basically have your toilet paper needs met. If you can get into a regular routine where you're doing your business once a day at a certain time of day, which is how it should be right now anyways. Now you might see me holding this roll of toilet paper and that's for size comparison. So you can see the size. Now obviously this is gonna do many jobs. This is a luxury that should be enjoyed in the home. These are not for flushing down the toilet. This is something that you want to use in the backcountry. It is biodegradable. It is made of a cellulose material. It is a very thick, very strong material. Make no mistake, this is very much a towel. When we talk about this being a compressed towel, you can use this for anything. In fact, if you're not using it for number twos, you could likely rinse it out and reuse it for other purposes. Now in terms of actual size, I'm guessing this is about 100 times larger than this. And I guarantee you that if you had 100 of these, that's going to probably be the equivalent, if used properly, maybe 20 to even 30 rolls of toilet paper. So the point being, this is going to be far more expensive, but this is not for everyday use. So you can't compare the price of toilet paper to the price of these. I'm not really sure the price point on these. I'm going to post the price on the screen here somewhere so you can get a sense of what the mathematics are with regard to this. So this is something you're going to want to use sparingly. It's mostly for traveling. It's mostly for backpacking. Moms can use it for kids. Diapers if you don't want to carry around a big bag of wipes or something like that. Now obviously that's there's going to be a convenience factor but if you're into the ultralight backpacking thing you find yourself by a perfectly usable body of water you dunk this in the body of water you expand it basically you're going to get yourself a very hygienic toilet paper puck i'm going to overlay the size comparisons over the screen here but as you can see the puck is significantly larger than the toilet paper disc which itself is significantly larger than the toilet paper tablet personally 
I bring all three with me when I go camping. I think they're an excellent thing to put in a bug out bag because they don't take up a lot of space. They're incredibly lightweight for what they do. It's a great form factor, very packable, far more resilient and less messy than toilet paper. Toilet paper is one of those things, you know, you gotta keep it in a plastic bag or something like that. This, if this thing gets wet, you simply dry it off and once it's fully dry, it's gonna retain its form. You can unravel it. Because it's made of that cellulose fiber, it's reusable. You can basically hydrate it, unhydrate it. You don't necessarily have to keep it in a plastic bag. You can keep it in your pocket. Now these things come in rolls of 10. You just throw one of these in your backpack before you go camping. This right here, it serves so many purposes. Fire starter, uh, wound dressing for first aid. You know, obviously using it for wiping everything to the farthest, deepest crevasses of your own body to wiping off the picnic table after your Sunday picnic. Now I'm gonna post a link to these in the description. It's the Wizzy White company that's distributing them. Go pick yourself up a couple rolls. Excellent thing to put inside a bug out bag. Also great for space saving. So if you're a person who is a prepper of the long-term preparedness mindset and you find it hard to stockpile large amounts of toilet paper, and let's face it, toilet paper is a very large and low density item, which requires a lot of space for small amounts of the stuff. So this way you can pack a lot more in a much smaller place. The compressed towel in the form of tablet, disc, or puck is only the beginning of what I believe is a compressed towel revolution that's on the rise and who knows what shape the future of compressed towels will take you tell me what you think in the description folks let's get the inappropriate comment section rolling don't forget you can get yourself a ready t-shirt at canadian prepper at teespring.com we got a new facebook page we got instagram we got pinterest we got teespring we got google plus we are everywhere on social media. When I say we, I mean me because I'm the only one here. But I like speaking about myself in the plural because as the All-American Prepper would say, I do the work of many armed men. Don't forget to share this video. That's the number one thing. Please share the video. Subscribe. We got a lot of great stuff coming on. And if you like the All-American Prepper, we got another installment of how you're going to die in the apocalypse coming up. An All-American Prepper makes an all-star cameo appearance, so you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe. All the best, all the rest. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.